Hey there folks, I'm Sirius JG and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect Andromeda. So we're poking at some uh, murder mystery goofiness. Yeah, so much of that college, college degree. Yeah. We are suspecting because it makes the game more interesting, I guess, that uh, Director Gearson was murdered. Icicle murdered. Something was scannable because I got a little like a rumble. Are you scannable? Maybe it's on the floor below. Anyway, the plot wants us to head over here. This is where Jim Garson's body was. Oh, discovered. we're scanning in here for clues. What are we looking for? If you scan the room, environmental data may allow for scene recreation. If you scan the room, stupidly and for no real reason, I will be able to play a clip of what happened here. We'll see Director Tan murdering her. Eighty-two percent precision. There. This was no accident. She was murdered. Icicle murdered. This incident occurred over a year ago. Her killer is likely far away by now. Yeah. But wait. This whole area was shuttered back then. Didn't open until the Hyperion arrived. So what was Garson even doing here? Perhaps Talking to the mystery benefactor. In order. It's a fake wall, oh my god! A hidden door. What do we have here? We have Heart Max hidden behind this uh, false door. Well, we got some data pads. Speak with Garson's VI display. Oh. This is Gian Garson. I don't have much time. I've been hiding in the sealed-off sections of the Nexus since we got here. Icicles Someone's looking to murder to me. Kill me. And now I can hear them down in the hydroponics area. They're coming. Oh, it must be the Wyatt I family. I know in my VI in the cultural center. This log has the code. And whatever happens... Oh, God. They're outside the door. Hmm. Wow. This is some serious shit. Yes. Deeply troubling. I have the code you mentioned for the VI kiosk. This is some serious shit. By using a curse word, I have indicated that this is serious. I can't help it. I'm actually getting pulled into this. I'm. This is exciting. Uh, it seems like melodramatic and kind of silly, but I'm now I'm curious what's going on. Garrison notes. Or Garson notes. Uh, once mentioned a storm is coming, said evidence was clear. Meaning Andromeda. Why? I appear in still no contact. Where is Alec? Did they get him too? Well, I've suspected for a while that, like, you know, considering that the Reapers were a threat at the time that this these guys left, that um, whatever they said their purpose was, in fact, this is probably... It would make sense to me that the whole initiative was an effort to make sure that there were survivors out of the reach of the Reapers, if the Reapers actually did show up and kill everybody. And in fact, the idea that they that they could go here and that the Reapers are only patrolling around the Milky Way does blast huge holes in the whole, like, forgive me for using the term, the universe of Mass Effect 1. Like, the whole Mass Effect 1 story kind of stops making sense because it makes sense when you think about it as being, like, the Milky Way galaxy is the only inhabited galaxy. Once you imagine there are life forms in other galaxies, suddenly the whole thing with the Reapers and what they were doing no longer makes sense. But it didn't come. It, I didn't really think about it until this game kind of throws it right out there. Hey, there's other galaxies. Ambassador. And we're happy to okay. help your guards secure their weapons. I prefer them armed for now. You understand, of course. I understand you, your desire, but I'm not granting it. How about that, motherfucker? Oh, Pathfinder, this is the head of the Angaran delegation. It's kind of a dick. The one who saved the Moshai. She speaks highly of you. 
Call me Easter de la Barre. This is a historic day. We need good diplomacy. Somebody's got to cover for the fact that I accidentally edited, like, one of your messages uh, from, like, hundreds of Angarns. And I accidentally spell-checked it and uh, fixed one of your misspellings, and now Tan's all pissed. We're glad to have you, Ambassador. Strong ties with the Angar will strengthen us both. Let me give us food and water. To a good end, I hope. I was just explaining to the Ambassador that armed guards aren't necessary here. And I was being sassy wrong, about it. Please walk with me, Pathfinder. I don't like that woman. She's all blue and sassy. She so works blue. Life. All different, all united. The way it could have been. 75 years ago, we were scattered, struggling to rebuild after the scourge. Then, the Ket arrived. Alien life. It was monumental. But then they deceived and enslaved us. So, I hope you understand my precautions. Oh, don't worry. We will, um... I promise we will not find a way to, like, you know, stick electrodes in your nipples and turn you into us. You know we're different. We're different. Yeah, we're different. We're different. Yeah, we're different. Driving to the scene with the seal and missing. Driving to the scene with the seal and missing. We came to explore, Ambassador, not conquer. And we have we our own We came to challenges. praise Caesar, not to yes. bury him. Wait. Which is why I'm here. I want to believe in this alliance, Pathfinder. The Moshai says you're trustworthy. Please, help me trust in you. By not editing our people's messages. Verify what we say. We have much to offer. The cat hate us. Use that. Now, that's actually a good point. I don't know what to tell you. Huh, those are actually some interesting uh, choices. This is the touchy-feely one. This is the comical one, although I actually think it makes a lot of sense. One of these is logical, and one of these is professional. Professional, I don't know what to tell you. It's not really that great an answer, although it's honest. Uh, verify what we say. I actually fall, find myself falling between the cat hate us and verify what we say. Those are the, the two answers that I think sound sound best in this, this instance. We don't expect you to enter this alliance blindly, Ambassador. Everything we say, you can check. You'd be that open with us? We have nothing to hide. What, what does that mean, you'd be that open to you checking independently They'll yourselves? They'll surrender their weapons to your militia, if that's satisfactory. Thank you. We won't disappoint you, Ambassador. Not yet, anyway. Welcome to Andromeda. Oh, that's right. You guys are speaking English because we can't translate your language. You, you're pretty quick to learn it, too. Anyway, thanks for that, buddy. But now, if you don't mind, I'm trying to investigate a murder here. Oh, weirdos. Sorry. Some of them like to be called Z and Zer. Yeah, whatever. Welcome back. The next you know, your dreams were your ticket out. Hello there, neighbor. I'm Gian Garson, the founder of the Andromeda Initiative. I thought you might like well, I'm glad the ambassador will be right here as we reveal the treacherous murder side of our folk. Sam, can we hear that message Garson talked about? With the ambassador Locking right now. here. Rerouting to our private channel. Oh, never mind. For years, there was a silent it's partner playing in involved our head. with the initiative. The truth is, I was running out of money. Then a benefactor stepped in. I didn't ask questions. I never met them face to face. That was a mistake. I lied. Should have found out that they were secretly in Elkhorn. Something big spooked them in the Milky Way, and now they're moving a hundred thousand of us to Andromeda. I hope it's all for the good, but I have my doubts. And now I think they're going to remove me. Alec Ryder and I had a code word for this. Fulcrum. He may have learned more. What did that mean? At least she's nice. In the Milky Way. She Perhaps your father's locked memories hold the answer. He might have known more. I'm glad that yeah. Guess I'll have to keep unlocking them to find out for sure. 
Well, now that I think about it, um, all right. So the obvious answer, and it's in the background, in the back of my mind this whole time, is like I, I thought it was express, and that I had just not been paying attention because that happens. Um, playing through the game, and like they'll throw a whole bunch of details, and I'll only retain a chunk. But yeah, I always assumed the Andromeda Initiative was about you know planting some of the Milky Way species out of the reach of the Reapers, hopefully. But would Alec Ryder, who was like a fairly low-level guy in the Alliance, uh, the Human you know, Earth Systems Alliance, would he know about the Reapers during the time of Mass Effect 2? It's something that Shepard, as a specter, reported up the chain. They didn't believe him. Uh, I don't know at what point the Reapers became a thing everyone knows about, but if this game is set sometime, sometime between Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3, well, Mass Effect 3 is basically... The Reapers just show up and start killing everybody. Mass Effect 2, I don't know if everybody knew about them. So maybe, maybe it could still turn out that it is about the Reapers. It's just that Alec Ryder and Sam and and their friends don't know anything about the Reapers. It's not something that had trickled down to them. Or it wasn't something that was widely believed in. How'd y'all doing? How's the cultural study going, y'all? Read up on the Elcor Hamlet yet? Mm -hmm. Yes. I think the performance certainly elevated the source material. Oh, come on. Did you know that PB's father was an Elcor? <laughs> That's awesome. So I guess her mother was the Catherine the Great of the Asari. Ooh, here's a dude with a quest. Or a girl with a quest. Interesting place, isn't it? Full of smiles and handshakes. No many soldiers. Not soldiers Even can smile and shake hands. Peace, it's we soldiers who keep it. We probably spook them. Diplomacy, diplomacy should be forefront. Oh, see, look, there's a Turian shaking hands with the Nerth lady. It's great. Ah, let's joke with them. Politicians get nervous when you hold anything more explosive than a rotten egg. <laughs> You've seen this too. You understand what rotten eggs are, rather I do. Echoes everywhere, but names. I know you, Pathfinder. I am Andrachmo, a Heskal with the Resistance. <laughs> a Heskal? <laughs> it's secret handshake. Centuries ago, Heskal were special forces. We defended colonies, passing our training down via oral history. Oral. Few remember us today. So I came to learn what the Milky Way knows of such things. I heard your father was part of a similar program, an N7. What do you know about N7? What have you learned about the N7 program? Yeah, there it is. Human soldiers who trained on exotic worlds. Arcturus, Europa, Rio de Janeiro. That was not a world. They learned to but... fight in all environments on little food or sleep, to care for their injured, to lead. Is that accurate? Wasn't your father one of them? Yep. He was one of the first N7s. He was proud of that, even though he didn't stay in service. Didn't stop him teaching me and my sister a few tricks. She's asleep so now. You carry a little of that She's on a farm upstate. As well as your Pathfinder skills. I'm pretty awesome. Medicine I'm the player character. Training would benefit my people. Heskal training would benefit yours. Perhaps a few war games. Would you like to Show play a game? your skills handle the tests of a Heskal recruit. Challenge yourself and teach me. That sounds pretty awesome and all. Yeah, I'm totally about getting into a big fight with you. Um, our sister is asleep at a farm upstate. It's very sad, but yeah. A chance to work with the Angaran best of the best? Absolutely. Excellent. I'll activate our training beacons. Finding them can be your first test. After that, I look forward to learning. Well, we won't teach you anything. We just want your military secrets so we can conquer you. Earn your badge, battle the remnant, battle ancient ferocious creatures, retrieve sensitive data. I'm thinking Ryder Family Secrets is probably on hold. Search for, no, for, not search for memory triggers. Okay, got you. No, your enemy. Uh, on hold, on hold, on hold. On hold, on hold, on hold. We can do this loyalty mission, but I don't believe we have enough time to do it in this video. And this video has really got to be it for me tonight. So, we 
got a new additional task. Earn your badge. So, they are off world. Which I kind of figured they would be. Oh, we can speak with Carrie about the Angara, though. There you go. That'll be. That'll be a little questy type of deal we can do. Oh, I just missed dialogue. I'd like to know more about the Angara. It's not often a first contact goes so smoothly. Well, I did accidentally get at one of their messages, so it's all fucked. There's high hopes for this alliance. It's good to see you. I guess you'd ask about the Angara. It's a good reason to say hi. That's not... This is about history, not you and... Me and... History. I... I need to finish this. So, the Angara, your thoughts on the Alliance? It'll be hard work. They don't trust us, and we're not very trustworthy. The Angara have their own problems, and we're newcomers in their cluster. We need to work at this. The Angara soldier who joined your team has a few fans already, but everyone's talking about Aya. Green plants, flowing water. Our leaders have discussed whether we should send colonists there. That is not a good idea. Aya is a sovereign planet of the Angara. We have no right to settle there. I mean, we Strong hang staff. Out. Here's hoping we don't need to. Okay, that's. Look, camera off. I need to say something. Stop flirting I with feel me. Like you want to get closer to me than an interview. Yeah, I want to get inside. I think you. I might. What about you? I want... Oh, this isn't right. It's not ethical to date an interview subject. Uh, but once the documentary's done, we could get to know each other better. What if there's someone else? Are you going to be all weird like PB and just, like, not care at all? I could be spoken for by then. I wouldn't interfere with your life. What happens with me stays with me. Yeah, I don't know why, but, but this game feels the heart, need to, like... I'd like that. This once game... the documentary's finished... <laughs> And this came out in the pre-release material. This game feels a really big need to make sure that you have options to fool around on the side with. I'm like, it's not enough that our sci-fi nerds get to, like, fuck aliens. We want to make sure they have the ability to cheat on the aliens they've chosen as their primary partners. Ooh, if you want to show your heart, I'd like that once the documentary is finished. We should end this now. I'm trying to get with Cora. Apparently she's not one of the ones who's, like, thrilled with you sleeping with everything that moves. No, this isn't right. Let's stop. No more interviews for you either. Best. Okay, let's just move on. Colonist registration is up since last episode, as is morale. Town sent this for you. Inspiring, huh? It's a complaint about having edited some stuff. Tan sent this for you with what? 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 What is it? Wait for Carrie's next interview slot. But what did I get sent? Well, we have new inventory. Shh. It's... Oh, is it armor? No, Ket Fusion armor we clearly got from a fight somewhere. So I don't know what he sent us, but... Um... So we missed some kind of dialogue between Vetra and uh, what's her face. So that's a shame. I wonder what my dad would think of all this. Would he have encouraged the move? Come with us if he could. I think he would have. I'm sure he would have. To be with you guys. Yeah, I think so too. Sid doesn't remember anything about him, but I do. I think he might have liked it here. Oh, that's sweet. All right, so what the hell are we doing now? Uh, you guys are still chillaxing. That's that's cool. I'm guessing we're never gonna. We're not really gonna get to um, see Sarah Ryder wake up until the game's almost over. It feels like. Like hey, sis, hope you had a good nap. I've created five different viable uh, colonies for the humanity. For the humanity. <laughs> also, the Tamaranians, the Starfire is pleased. 
And of course, the two the two great representatives of these two great races, the Humanity and the Tamaranians, we finally have the long-awaited meeting between the Rock and the Starfire. So, uh, Ghost of a Promise, Gone Dark, Locate and Scan Resistance Bugs in Cat Camps. Sam is a type of surveillance bugs belonging to the Resistance inside Cat Camps. Their transmission source appears to have been disabled. Yeah, let's do this. Let's let's scan across the Helios cluster. Let's save in case we fuck something up, and let's just go to that system Rider. and not go to the writer. Let's just go to the system that that just unlocked and not actually go to the planet. So I guess we have entire systems that only become available when you have a loyalty mission to do there. The model of the spheres. Somehow, magically at 50, we will have given the scientists of the Nexus enough data to start actually doing the some... The this system is a massive red giant, like Arcturus back home. Arcturus Minsk? Far more remote, I'm afraid. Remote control. Now he's got his own game show. Remote control. Remote control. <laughs> Sing along with Colin. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Never mind. It's one of those shows I remember, but it might be old enough now that, like, my audience doesn't. Nadanur. Nadanur. Surface temperature varies wildly depending on local volcanic activity. Away from its lava streams, the rocky landscape can be frigid. Uh, I guess that's all we're getting. H one one nine. This planet is made of cheese. Of course it is. Weird, Liam seems to be the guy I've put the least effort into, honestly, and he is the first person whose loyalty mission has popped. I have a problem with Liam. He's just not the guy I've been trying the hardest to, to bring along with us on missions. He actually is part of the party right now, as it, as it happens. But Size and dense metallic composition. A huge mineral deposit. Copper. I've already got fuck tons of copper. But a large metal deposit of copper is a noble metal. So high conductivity makes it useful for a variety of purposes. H-119, the size and dense metallic composition of H-119 gives the surface gravity over four times that of Earth, despite the dangers, mining efforts may be worthwhile, especially if you want copper. Chopis. Chopis. It's like Cochise, but different. Cochise's dense atmosphere efficiently traps Cephesa's heat. Its surface temperature, though frigid by human standards, is warm compared to most of the system's planets. I can't remember the words of Cochise at all. But. Biomatter growth. Massive colonies of this mold grow deep beneath Show pieces surface, filling caverns that run up to the six kilometers long. Quarantine recommendation level two. So that's ex so we get experience for having discovered life on this planet. Okay. Well, that's it. We we completed this quest. So I guess we can check out Tanesta while we're here. I don't want to check out that other planet in case it triggers the mission. Like, just orbiting triggers the mission. I doubt it, but... Oh, man. I'm like, can I get in one more one more video and do this mission? I really can't. Really can't. Gotta get to bed. Oh, 
I'll report one of those craters will feature something interesting. No anomaly detected. The endless calcium deserts of Tenesta are spotted. Tenesta sounds like some kind of... Like a sleep aid or possibly one of those yogurts that makes you poop. The endless calcium deserts of Tenesta are spotted with deposits of boron. Traces of cat landing parties are present but are all decades old. So that's scavenger debris field, so it's not a planet. Or maybe it is, as it turns out. So we can go talk to one of these scientists here and find, you know, go and like, are you sure you didn't try to destroy Sam? <laughs> okay. So there you go, a video where I made every effort to leave the Nexus and then we get dragged back in. Every time I think I get myself out, they pull me back in. I'm relieved that it turns out, although it could still be the case, but I'm relieved it doesn't appear that Director Tan is supposed to be an evil monster responsible for, responsible for murdering the uh, director. Uh, because the idea that he's like a decent guy who's in over his head, I'm fine with. I, they don't need to make him evil. Model of the Spheres and the Firefighters. The Space Pirates, starring Patrick Trout, Fraser Hines, and Wendy Padbury. Alright, so that's a good way to end it. I'm, I'm starting to fade anyway. Even if I I feel like playing the game more, but I, I feel myself fading. I don't think it would be the best video ever if I were to try to get another one in without getting any sleep. What did I do? What did I do? It was harsh to leave them there. I can understand the concern, but I would do anything to bring my family back together. I don't remember what the fuck we did with Kadara. There's concerned citizen. Whoa, it's the Pathfinder. Whoa, it's me. Dude, don't You're talk shit about the Angara. Strange new people, these Angara, and now they're here on the Nexus. Dealing drugs, they're rapists. Some of them are good people. For certain. Nothing's for certain. Trust is something that is built or broken. The more certain they are of us, the more certain we can be of them. That's circular wow. logic. Yeah, I get you. Talk to them. Get to know them. It can only help. Good advice. I will. Not terribly open-minded for somebody who volunteered to travel to a new galaxy. I mean, you got to think about this. These people volunteered to come to a new galaxy where they would see nothing familiar. And as soon as they get here, they're like, oh, these people are weird and different. It makes me nervous. What did they expect was going to happen? So I'm getting one of these like every time I come now. Uh, the max shield ones are pretty. Uh, those are pretty safe purchases. I'll, I'll find something that I can put those into. Um, Anyway, let's go upstairs and find those scientists and get ourselves some experience. Of course, there are probably more systems to find. The scars doesn't help. But our mapping of Helios is complete for now. We can see how the scourge perturbs orbital patterns, compresses space. Transcends time and space. Yeah, whatever. With acceptable nav upgrades, of course. Pardon me, Miss Anwar. I have some programming to do. And you're beneath contempt. Would you talk to me, lady? My model of Helios blossoms with data. 
Something. What are you doing? <laughs> Here, please. You have earned this. Stop running. What is wrong with you? Downloading new scanner data. What did I even get for that? What was my reward for that? Completed missions? Is it going to be Forgotten Stars? No. Staging a rescue? No. Maybe I have it as an additional task with even more, uh, and now I have to scan even more planets or something. Message the Nexus. We screwed it up. Update. You fucked this quest up. Uh, let's see. Forgotten Sleeping Dragon, Station Sabotage, First Murder. Oh, failed. Read email from Phoebe. So it was a red X. Now it says failed. Failure, failure. You were such a failure. Failure, failure. Rotten sticky failure. Failure, failure. You're such a failure. Failure, failure. La uh, bear this in mind, folks. Time stamp it. Never let me forget my horrible, horrible failure. I failed to read an email from PB where she asked me to go talk to her with the museum on Aya. Instead, I just went to talk to her at the museum on Aya. We will never be able to recover from this failure. Oh, he is such a failure. Okay, yeah, it is. It's a completed task. I guess we got experience for it. I mean. I haven't been watching it real close, but we're awfully close to the, reaching level 31. I don't feel like we were all that close before, so that's probably... That's what we get. We get experience. Such a failure. Mystery Science Theater. Your failure is a failure, but a loser and the chump. Total failure, total failure, loser, loser. Ha ha ha. Do 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 do. I have to admit, it feels strange to not have anyone. Um reciting uh, their former speeches uh, in a bar to no one. Should we be uh, doing your um, loyalty mission, Liam? Take a break, Pathfinder. Everyone needs it. Don't worry about rescuing my friend. Hey folks, it's great to be here tonight. I just wanted to mention that, uh... The old threats are gone on EOS. <laughs> just throwing it out there, everybody. So I guess you can climb up on, uh... On... On this surface, too. I did not... Oh, see, you have to press circle, but you can kind of fall off of it. Gotcha. Yeah, it looks like they, they uh, fixed that issue. I'm waiting for a new patch to come out for Mass Effect 2 where Garrus stops talking about calibrating weapons for like two seconds at a time. Alright, so that's, uh, that's fine. It's fine and dandy. Let's... Uh So glad we made it. Let's uh, wrap this video up on the Nexus so that next time we are not on the Nexus, on the Tempest. So that uh, next time we, I will feel um, inclined to go out and explore and do fun stuff. Um, we've got stuff we could be doing on EOS. We could be doing the uh, loyalty mission. The next time I play, I'll probably have enough time to actually get get a bit done. Like, I, I put in three videos worth of content tonight. I wasn't expecting to get quite that much. But I did try to stick with things that could uh, be dropped and cut off quickly and easily. Hello? Hello. 
I recommend you switch your quest so that you don't constantly get reminded that one was successful. But, you know, that's just me throwing that out there. You do what you want to do. But I'm expecting, I believe what we want to do next time is actually do Liam Costa all in the Liam loyalty mission. Liam has, all, has asked for help with the rescue. His Angarn contact, Verand, has likely been captured by scavenging pirates. To make it worse, Liam gave Verand Nexus nav points and data. Oh, okay, so he's worried that these pirates are going to get a hold of what, um... It's like, it's it's like freaking, um... Oh, I'm blanking on the name of it. Uh, Stellaris, where, like, f- four seconds into your, uh, whatever whatever species you pick in Star Empire you build, four turns in, suddenly your own species has space pirates flying around being a pain in the ass. He trusts her, but if the pirates extract... Because these are... These are people who left the Nexus and just immediately became space pirates. Oh, if only we had Patrick Trout and Fraser Hines and Wendy Padbury to put a stop to them. But if the pirates extract information, it puts the initiative at risk. They are somewhere in the debris field near Kyranos 2 in the Cephesa system. I'm going to suggest that we take care of that mission uh, next time so that we know we got at least one squad mate who's loyal. Because... I'm going to go out on a limb and guess that this game gives you the ability to kill off squad mates in some big plot mission later, and that they survive if they're loyal. Because although it doesn't really make any kind of logical sense that their loyalty keeps them alive, that is how it worked in Mass Effect 2, and I think in Mass Effect 3 possibly as well. I will collect some rewards. I will save my game... I will question whether we can ever get up to level Nexus level 20 since in getting um, three different planets up to 100% viability only got us up to Nexus level 10. There's only two planets left to get to 100% viability. So it seems like we're going to be doing a lot of little, like clawing our way at additional Nexus points by doing side quests on these planets that already have 100% viability. That's what I think is is coming in our future. But the future is later. The present is now. And uh, in my present, I'm going to bed. I'm the Serious JG. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you'll join me next time for more Mass Effect Andromeda. Bye-bye.